What's up? How you let Scotty with the body tell you up? Because out of the entire cast, you got done up by Scotty? Oh, girl. That, it, uh, girl. Anyways, what's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, today we're going to be getting into some mess concerning the Baddies East reunion that just aired last night, part two. It's a lot to get into because it was a lot going on. I'm ready to get into the mess. And if you are ready to get into the mess, let's get this shit cracking. All right, again. So this reunion had a lot going on. There was a lot of tussles. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to be like bouncing back and forth. I am not going to go in order. <laughs> I'm going to go like according to what I remember, but hopefully I touch on everything. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so who do I want to start with first? Let's just start with um, Tessie and E.T. first because they were fighting like the entire time. My thing is with you, E.T., is why do you lie so much? Like what? Like I, 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 I'm starting to think that lying be making your E.T. see real wet. Like because like why you lie too much for my liking? Because first of all, you got online and you not only said that you closed Tessie's eye, but you went on a podcast, No Jumper, and said that she pulled hair whole time. Pulled hair whole time to the point where it was no hands. Well, you had to. Do. She had to. It was pull hair whole time. All the war wounds that everybody got, Camilla trying to hide her knot on her head. Tzatziki trying to hide her eye on her lip. Like, bitch, we fought, y'all. We all fought. Like, war wounds come with fighting. Y'all be scared to be showing y'all faces. Like, bitch, Liddy, didn't y'all have black eyes? Yes, I did. No Thank makeup you. on my black eye because like, I ain't loose. <laughs> you fight. You supposed to get hit, bitch. Like, come on now. Mm -hmm. and, and I got I, bit too. And I, I tried my best to come from the shoulders with these bitches for y'all to show y'all now that's TV me. But they're just grabbers and pull hair. Like they whole time, whole time, whole time. Sorry, Barbie, Shout but to Barbie. pull hair whole time. They was pulling hair whole time. I, I I think I said it on the stage. So you bitches pull hair whole time. <laughs> If you want this fade, come and get it. Period. <laughs> you heard it. Um. Now, I did see that Tessiki's lip was, you know, it was a little leaking a little bit. Not too much, but it was, you know, girl. You, yeah, I seen that. But, girl, you, I did not see no black eye. You also said that you shut her eye. I did not see that. And I did not see her pull hair whole time. Girl, I, what I saw is I saw her sling you on that. Girl, I, I saw you get beat out your wig is what I seen, champ. That's what I saw. I saw you get beat out your wig, and I saw you get beat out your alleged nude panties. Because I ain't seen no panties, girl. I saw So, yeah, girl, they ran multiple phase. And what I will say about E.T. is um, I, I respect you in terms of, like, standing in the paint. Girl, you stood on ten toes. Like, I'll admit that. But it's like... You ain't had no choice because you really was talking a whole lot of mess uh, in between the seasons about everybody. You talked about her uh, little S.A. allegations, girl. You posted a picture when she was 17 and pregnant. You just really took it there and you took it too far. And I feel like you took it too far for no reason. You really took it to hell okay so it's like you really had no choice but to stand in the paint but i do respect you for standing in the paint because you really could have been like camila okay <laughs> and red girl camila girl okay I, I, okay off track let me stay on et okay you really could have left early but you came, you came back out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just respect her in terms of that because you stood in the paint. You stood on 10 toes. I guess, girl, I will give you that. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't even want to get in the paint with Tessiki. Like, I feel like a lot of people would turn down fades with Tessiki is what I'm trying to say. But you didn't turn down no fade. Even though if you would have, it would have just been like, why? Because you was talking on a mess. But you, what I'm trying to say is, is that you, you stood on, you stood on business about like, eh, about 50%. 50% you stood on business because you got in the paint. Uh, you got in the paint. The other 50% you just... Chill. I don't know. Girl, so let me tell y'all, okay? I did not realize 
how much now that's tv girls and no in all respect to them because i do love me some now that's tv girls but i did not realize how much they windmill and they just swing and hope for the best <laughs> until i seen et fight tessiki because it's like the way that she oh my goodness it's like oh lord it's like when you put somebody who you think can fight against somebody who can really fight and it's just, it's just bad. It was just bad, y'all. Like, I don't even know how to really explain it. Like, E.T. got done up, like, four or five times. Like, I'm not playing. Like, I'm not joking. Like, this girl was literally getting tore up. Like, like literally tore up. I'm not going to lie. But the episode did resume um, with House B jumping. And can y'all please stop saying that House B did not jump? Because, yes, they did. Or at least they 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 attempted to. Like, y'all making it seem like it was purely a one-on-one, which is not true. House B tried to jump. Well, ch- child, they tried it. They tried it. Um, Sky, I don't know what Sky was doing. I don't know if Sky was trying to break it up. But Sky was, de- Sky definitely got past security. And Sky was definitely in the mix with Tessiki and E.T. I don't know what her intentions were due to like the camera angle. I could really only see the back of her. But she was in there like swimwear. You know what I'm saying? Um, Anna Mac was trying to jump in. Roly stopped that real quick. She got her. She got her. Girl, you, I'm not gonna lie, Anna Mac. When you tried to jump E.T., Girl, Roly got you, girl, clean in the face, child. And she, and she, and she, uh, she pretty much slapped you out your wig. Okay. Camila was trying to jump ET. They were trying to jump. So, like, I feel like a lot of people was like, oh, well, they're not now. Yes, House B was jumping. <laughs> but that still does not take away from the fact that ET got done up. Like, it really don't. Because, girl, after that, after that first round, after House B attempted to jump or they did jump or whatever y'all want to call it, every round after that, it was a one-on-one and you and you still was getting done up. So it, it's just like, girl, E.T. ended up falling. I was like, oh my God, it just literally would not stop. It would not stop. It kept going. I'm just like, Lord. Uh, Tessiki was like, she called out her fade round two. Girl, E.T., um, I think she went off stage real quick to change. Real quick. I don't know what she was doing, but I think she was changing. And then in the midst of doing that, she came back on stage or she was still off stage. But after she changed, it was like she still was trying to stay off stage. <laughs> and Tessiki was like, oh, no, baby. Oh, no. You're going to have to run me my fade round, too. E.T. was like, no, because y'all going to jump me. Y'all going to jump me. Y'all going to jump me. Tessiki was like, ain't nobody going to jump you, baby. This is the second round that I'm talking about. Ain't nobody going to jump. Girl, they got in the paint again, child. And then again. And then again. And it was just like, like I said, like back to the whole windmilling thing. Like, you don't re- like on, 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 on everything, y'all. You don't realize how bad some, how bad a fighter somebody is until they really go up against somebody who can fight ten times better than them. Like, and I and I just want to know if all now that's TV girls is like this because I did not realize like y'all really be windmilling. Like y'all be y'all close your eyes and y'all you know what I'm saying y'all close your eyes and y'all swing and y'all really be hoping for the best like. <laughs> Y'all be trying to wing it. Like, that's really what a game with E.T. It was like, girl, you what, like, what were you doing? And then um, Tessiki is so skilled. She was like, back, you know, you know, she got she liked to back it up and dump it. Back it up and dump it. So she was backing it up and she was dumping it. And baby, when she was backing up, you could literally see the swimming. You could see the swimming, girl. The only thing she was missing was the swim cap and the floaties, baby. She was swimming. E.T. was swimming, baby. I honestly don't know what else to say about this. Like, she kept walking into the pond. I ain't never seen nobody walk into somebody's fist so much. It was it was insane. Like, I, it, it was just crazy. I'm not going to lie. I feel like E.T. and Tessiki's fades carry the reunion. <laughs> their face carried the reunion because everything else was like kind of weak but we can get into everything else camila (laughs) girl this is not listen camila and i don't want to hear no excuse that camila got kids i i honestly just don't want to hear that i really like i really don't want to hear that (laughs) everybody on stage mostly everybody on stage is a mother i don't want to hear that okay 
Camila, I don't understand, like, especially, girl, let me figure out how to say this. Why would you put, like, like, Camila was the, and don't get me wrong, Camila really wasn't winning the altercation with her and Roly, but Camila was ultimately the reason for her own demise at the reunion. Like, you were the reason why you lost so bad. Like, you literally pulled, I don't know what you were doing. I don't know if you realized that, like, when you and Roly was, was, was throwing hands, standing on your two feet, you realized that you wasn't going to win. So you was like, you know, F this. I'm going to just pull her on. I'm going to just pull her off stage. I'm, I don't know what your strategy was. But it, it just was not giving, baby. It was not giving. Like, it, like um, I, I used this example on my live, right? On Bad Girls Club Season 10, right? Reunion. Only the only Bad Girls Club fans is going to know what I'm talking about. Okay? When Shannon... When Shannon and Rocky, y'all know they kind of like ate up us. <laughs> they ate up season 10 reunion, right? So Nancy was like screaming at Shannon. And in the midst of that, Shannon like grabbed Nancy by her shoulders and like twisted her off stage. I like it, but it, it gave me that Camila was trying to do the same thing. But one, it didn't work because her and Roly was on the same le level. When Shannon did it to Nancy, they were on two different levels. Nancy was on the stage. Shannon was like off the stage. So it was like, it get, you know what I'm saying? Like the, it really gave, that's what Camila was trying to do. But Camila literally like you, I, I just don't get it. Like you put her straight on you. Like what were you true? Like what was your strategy? Like, what was your strategy? That's all I want to know because girl, it did not work. Girl, she literally has you kicking like a roach, girl. You was kicking, girl. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Like you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were kicking like it. Oh my goodness, it was it was crazy. It was crazy, girl. You was you was swimming on the floor. That's all I'm gonna say, girl. You she had you kicking like you was a bug, girl. Um, and then right after that, you left, girl. And then you left. And then you try to sneak Rolly from the back. And then it just didn't, it just nothing. I just feel like nothing works in Camila's favor. Camila's like, oh, I got mommy, I got mommy stuff to do. I'm going to go home. Girl, that's not the reason why you went home. You, <laughs> that's not the reason you went home, girl. I would have believed you more if you, if you said you was going to go to the hospital or see the medic or something. Because baby, I know that back hurt, girl. Uh, Roly landed right on top of you and she was on. Girl, you disappeared. Where did you even go with Roly? Oh my goodness, it was crazy. It was so crazy. So speaking of Roly, we're kind of going to take it back to um, first round, Tessiki and E.T., where Tessiki, you know, she did her little do. She kind of slammed her, girl. And then, you know, House B came rushing and they was trying to jump. All right, and Roly was defending E.T., and what else happened? Oh, she, in the midst of that, while Anna was trying to jump in, Roly actually got Anna and ended up pulling off her wig in the, in the midst of them trying to jump E.T., okay? So right after this, Roly, I don't know how Roly ended up on the whole other side of the stage, like, but uh, <laughs> after everybody got pulled apart or whatever, Anna Matt goes flying around the stage and she sneaks Roly and I'm talking about girl she girl girl I think I'm not gonna lie I think that Anna Mac is the one that popped Roly uh because if you don't Roly's lip was like a little swollen I think that Anna Mac did that because I'm not gonna lie it looked like it, it girl it looked like she got you good Roly girl it did and then right after Anna Mac did that Anna Mac ran back and I was like okay like, I noticed that pattern with Anna Mac. It seemed like she would, like, sneak or jump, and then she would kind of, like, run a little bit. Like, she like she didn't want to face the confrontation. Like, she really, you know what I'm saying? Like, she didn't want to face the confrontation, so she would, like, run a little bit. I don't know, child. Girl, do what you got to do. <laughs> girl, I'm not knocking you, girl. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not. But it just seemed like Anna Mac was not running no fair fades. Anyways, so what else happened? Um, Scotty got mad when she did that. Scotty was trying to... Scotty, I'm not going to lie. Now, you ate uh, uh, th that one little thing. And y'all know what I'm talking about at the reunion. And we also going to talk about that. But you... <laughs> you be really... I feel like, Scotty, you be pump faking. Like, you be acting, like, so tough with security. And you be like... It seemed like... 
when security, like, Scotty does the most so security can grab her. But then when they grab her, she gets, like, super mad, quote, unquote. I really don't feel like you be mad. I feel like you be pump faking. You get super mad. And then when security lets you go, you still don't do anything. And it really reminds me of last reunion on Baddies West when you was popping all that mess about, when, girl, you was popping all that mess about Tommy. You was trying to fight Tommy. When security had you, you was trying to get out of security's grasp to go get Tommy. And then when security let you go and there was enough space and opportunity for you and Tommy to get down, you <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. But I just noticed that a lot with you, Scotty, girl. That's why I'm still trying to figure out why T let you do that to her out of all people. But we're going to get into that. Anyways, so what else happened, girl? House B was just... At this point, Camila is gone. House B is still uh running running circles around House A, whatever y'all want to call it. Um, well, no, I'm not even gonna say that. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that. No, I'm not gonna say that. They're hype, okay? House B is really hype. They're talking their mess. They're running around on stage. Automac and Biggie are clearly drunk. They're the loudest ones there. <laughs> they're clear, like they're clearly intoxicated. Like, you know, they're they're drunk, okay? Girl, um, what else? Biggie, what did Biggie do? I don't think, did Biggie do anything else on this part of the reunion besides run her mouth? <laughs> Biggie's commentary had me so weak. And really, don't nobody, girl. I'm sorry to like, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. But don't nobody, okay, want to eat their hooter cat, girl. Don't, I, I don't know why you keep lying. Like, girl, you, you talk about some... Biggie need to tell the people why she really mad because on Baddie's West, she tried to do this. She tried to do this and you would have let her do it. Girl, nobody's buying that story, Roly. Nobody's buying that story because Tommy already said that Biggie will literally break the butt of the blunt off so she wouldn't have to smoke. <laughs> like, I highly doubt she wants to do that to you. Like, no, no shade. No shade. Girls, you need to stop lying so much. Oh, like, didn't you have to pay? You literally had to pay security to do it to you. And you think that Biggie was going to do it for free or she wanted to do it for free? And you and you got a big, a crusty, musty security guard that had to get paid $300 to do it? Girl, don't like, stop. Just stop. Because it, it's just, it's, it's just nasty to even think about it. Really, don't even, don't ever put that image in my head again, please and thank you. Mariah Lynn, girl, I feel like you were popping it a lot. I feel like Mariah Lynn was popping it a lot. It was getting on my nerves, but um, I do like how you, she was, um, I mean, yeah, Mariah Lynn, it's, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say about Mariah Lynn. You, I... I can't say that I still, but this is nothing new. You always, you never been scary. But I do like how you stood on 10 toes when it came to E.T., you know. But you, what, what, what irritated me about Mariah Lynn is that she got mad that E.T. was trying to sneak her. But you did the same thing to her. Like, she was only doing to you what you did to her. But yeah, but at the same time, Mariah Lynn did it to her because she did it to Natalie. So it's just a big, it's just a big, I don't know what it is. But either way, she ran up on Natalie in the midst of security trying to grab up E.T. You and Tessiki are both trying to hit E.T. from two separate sides. So I understand why E.T. was trying to get you. Like, she's like, oh, you're trying to sneak. You're trying to sneak. You try to do the same thing. Like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> either either run the fade or hush. Like, and I don't understand why, like, security would see that certain people would, like, be getting into it on the side. But it's like nobody wanted to square up with each other. It was irritating. But Mariah Lynn, girl, I liked to on the third part of the reunion where E.T. basically was calling out the girl's face and Mariah Lynn was the first one to step up, girl. I love that for you, girl. But, you know, like I said, not really surprising because you never gave me scary. But, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, what else happened? Smiley came out. Uh, she wanted to claim her chain again. I don't know why she came out. Girl, my thing is, is what happened to the green wig? Like, girl... 
you didn't even get slapped out your wig. Like, Biggie, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, Biggie slapped you down. Like, she really did. Like, no shade. She slapped you down. But your wig did not come off. So, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out where that crusty, that, that crusty, busty, auntie church wig came from, girl. Like, cause I did not like it. I hated it for you. And it's like, girl, it's, it, it's like, you couldn't even brush the wig before you came out on stage. Girl, I did not like that for you. Like me personally, I really didn't. Anyways, um, Smiley comes out on stage and she still wants to change figures. Smiley. My thing is, is that you really just got slapped down on a sprinter dressing room, whatever it was. You got slapped down in your, in, in, in a trailer, right? Why aren't you trying to get Biggie? Why are you still trying to target Mariah Lynn? That's my thing with Smiley. How I feel like Smiley really be acting so tough when it comes to the girls that are smaller than her. How about you, like Mariah Lynn said, how about you get your lit back on the Amazon, on the big oak tree that took your chain in the first place? Sapphire is the one that snatched the chain. <laughs> Had you swimming on that ground for your chain. So my thing is, is why you not trying to get at Sapphire? Like you still trying to, you still trying to fight little old Mariah Lynn. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, Biggie just slapped you all the way down on the bus. You came out and you, why you ain't get it? Try to get into it with Biggie. You still talking about this dollar store, $2 chain. Like it's a dollar store chain. Go get another one. Like what? Or how about, or better yet, how about you go try to get your issue with the person who took your chain, which was Sapphire? Girl, what? Girl, I'm not going to play with you. Mostly everybody on that stage throughout the season at some point did Smiley dirty and she didn't want to get her issue with nobody else but Mariah Lynn. Like, I, girl, I, you, you, you're not, you're going to win. Every single time you go against Mariah, uh, Mariah Lynn, you win. Like, come on. Like, girl, how about you get in the paint with somebody who can keep up with you or who, girl, by you, Smiley is just too picky choosy for my liking. And I just cannot deal. Nene, I love you, but I'm going to need you to, to, to sit this one out when it comes to hosting baddies. Honestly, I feel like you were out of your element anyway. But it, the, the, the thing that really got me is that I feel like you really did not watch the show. You didn't even know the girls' names. You was calling Biggie Roly. You was calling Roly Biggie. Like, I know they both big, but they don't look alike. Let's really get into it. Like, Biggie really is, is eating Roly down. So I don't know why you would even insult her by calling her that. So, you just... <laughs> <laughs> like just because they big don't mean they look like stop playing stop playing with them okay so and what else what else nini i'm trying to get on to you girl i just feel like you don't you you the bare minimum is you trying to this is what they need to do okay they need to start hiring hosts who not only watches the entire season that keeps up with the tea online and that knows what the fans are saying, though, so they can ask, you know, questions that the fans are thinking or that the fans want answers to. They need a host like that. If you do not fit those three, again, you watched the entire season. You kept up with, with the drama online. Okay, so you know the reason uh, about who is beefing with who, and you know what the fans are thinking, or you be, you know, you be in the comments. Okay, that like it's not hard to hire somebody like that, baby. It's a, it's a lot, it's a lot of us like that. Okay, um, Nene girl, you not only did not watch the show, and I can tell you didn't watch the show. If and I think if you watched the show, you probably watched like maybe what. The four, I mean, you probably watched like three, four, five episodes out of 21. Like you, you did not watch the show. Like you cannot convince me that you watched the entire season from the beginning to the end. Not only that, but Nini was so clueless as to why everybody was getting to it. The only, re the only, the only beef that she should have been clueless about was Natalie and E.T. Because E.T. did not tell nobody that she was going to do that. Okay. But you should not have been clue like the way that Janisha was able to clock Natalie's tea as soon as Natalie said when Biggie was checking Natalie, right? And we're also gonna get into that. When Biggie was checking Natalie, okay, and she was telling Natalie, like, oh, you was popping in your confessionals, you were saying that uh Biggie that Roly wanted to that Roly beat me up and this, that, and the third. And Natalie was trying to act stupid and deny it. Janisha literally clocked her T right then and there. No, Natalie, you said that. Don't, don't even sit here and try to deny it. You said it. Okay. 
you said that. We, we need somebody like that that knows exactly what is going on. She know they know what they said in the confessionals. They watched the season, but it's so obvious when these hosts do not watch the season. It be so obvious. It be painfully obvious, actually. And how I know she don't keep up with the drama, and I wouldn't expect her to. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't understand why she was even a host. Is I know you can't because she she talking about some. Or even watch the show because she talking about some Nene talking about some. Why is she was she was she was like irritated a little bit. She was like, "Why is everybody mad at ET? Why do all of you guys have a problem with ET? What? <laughs> what do you mean by that, girl? What you obviously did not watch the show, girl. Biggie getting on Natalie was uh, honestly. I'm so happy that she did that. I'm so happy that she did that. Honestly, I feel like Biggie should have had that energy with Natalie that she had with Smiley, you know, slapping her down a little bit. But, you know, you can tell that some of these girls, they they, they kind of walk on eggshells around Natalie because they don't want to lose their spot on the show. So that is that. That's just not going to happen. Anyways, but what did happen was Biggie was checking Natalie and she was she was telling Natalie, like, when Natalie got... um done up by et and flipped it, flipped out her chair on her own show biggie was on her like white on right she literally was like girl like this is like she in so many words she was telling natalie like girl this is what you get like you literally switched up on me i put money in your pocket you put money in my pocket we was cool right before the season which is completely true and i was saying this in my recaps as well we were cool we were putting money in each other's pockets i brought you out to my city this that and the third just for you to literally switch up on me for a newcomer that you never even wanted on the show please clock it biggie the only thing that i don't i didn't like about this entire conversation is that it goes back to biggie wanting acceptance and she slipped up and said that she should have been a part of house a which i understand in a sense because house a was technically the ogs being brought back so technically she should have been but it's like girl you have met lifelong sisters and friends being a house b like you actually built a sisterhood i mean not while you were on the show girl because i ain't gonna lie girl house b was letting biggie get done any t- any kind of way girl but now you know <laughs> now you guys are really cool y'all call each other y- y'all y'all refer to each other as sisters so it's like i don't like even for her to still to say that out loud so confidently like I should have been a part of house a is crazy to me especially after everything that house a did to her after all the mess that house a was talking they did they instigated they set up they tried to evict like uh, even for 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 bigger to even come out her mouth and say that is crazy to me but other than that she was making some valid points with natalie you know, and I did, I did love that Biggie stood up for herself and she checked Natalie because somebody needs to do it. Natalie needs to hear about herself. I'm sorry. She does. I don't care how it comes across. Natalie needs to hear about herself. And she had absolutely no emotion when Biggie was telling her about herself. Girl, like you, you know, you know, you're wrong. You know, you're wrong. And this also goes back to Nene not watching the show because Nene kept trying to stick up for Natalie like, no, let her cook. Let Biggie cook. They kept trying to silence Biggie and basically try to tell Biggie to be quiet. No, Natalie needs to hear about herself. That is the issue. Y'all like to coddle her. Y'all like to no. Y'all need to, she needs to hear about herself. If Biggie, and Biggie was just talking, like they, they was acting like Biggie was trying to like, no, Biggie was not going to do all that. So I'm still trying to figure out why y'all was trying to make her be quiet for her. Natalie needs to hear about herself. Okay. Real, 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 yeah. She needs to hear about herself real bad. Suki and Sapphire came out on stage. Honestly, um, like, I just, I'm not going <laughs> to What I will say, though, is I feel like Sapphire and Suki looked good. Sapphire and Dukiana. I'm just playing. Anyways. They looked good, but it was like their vibe was not it. Like, I don't know. Like, Sapphire, you are so... I'm not going to lie. It, their, their whole friendship dynamic is just so fake to me. It's so fake to me, their entire friendship. It's like, Sapphire, you damn near had to get forced to be a friend. Like, Suki literally is teaching you how to be a friend, just like she did on the show Suki was literally teaching Sapphire how to be a friend. 
Oh, you got to do this and you got to do that. Sapphire still wasn't understanding. Now, all of a sudden, Sapphire don't want to hug Roly and Sapphire want to fight E.T. Girl, you get no cool points. You should have did it on the show. That's just what it is. Because now it's giving that your, 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 girl. It's, it's just, um, I don't even know what to say about it, honestly. I really don't. And then with Suki, it's like, Suki, you're holding so much onto this non-existent fake friendship and i don't know why i don't know why you know because she has proved time and time after after time and time again that she is fake even before she got on baddies even before both of y'all got on back their entire dynamic is just so fake to me that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm saying i'm gonna just leave it at that um sapphire you just i just feel like sapphire feels like her opinion and her voice is just a lot more important than what it actually is i just really wish sapphire would just be quiet like you could just tell that sapphire was there for redemption and redemption only and if you were there to redeem yourself okay whatever but it did not come across as genuine it came across as like the fans is on me suki is on me and if I don't do this, I'm probably going to know. Yeah, you're you're just you're just not you're just not that girl. Because why did you hug Roly? Like no shade. Girl. Why why didn't you hug Roly and why did you fight ET? Because I recall that when you seen them do your best friend dirty on the show, you were still cool with them. You were still cool with them. You were still talking about Suki to them, baby. Okay? You y'all was still cool, girl. I'm not finna play with you, girl. Girl, Sapphire Chow. Anyways, um, a lot of these girls are liars. Let's just let's just keep it a buck. A lot of y'all are liars, and y'all really did hype up a lot of things that either did not happen or it did happen, and y'all just overhyped it a little bit too much. T, girl. You literally got done up, like, and I cannot, and I'm not gonna lie, when you did initially sneak Scotty, I was not mad at you, although I feel like sneaking is very much, it, it, it's scary to me, but I don't, I don't blame you, and I was not mad at you for that, because Scotty literally did it to you, so she did it to you, okay, cool, get your lip back, ah, uh, okay, whatever, like, it was, chill. And, and T got her good, girl. The first, the first, the first hit ate down. The first sneak ate down. After that, it went downhill. It went downhill. What happened? You, you snuck her. She turned around immediately, got to work, and you was getting done up. Then you was running around. You was hyped. You was like, give me a shirt. Give me a shirt. Da, 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 da. Give me a shirt. Da, 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 da. They got you a shirt. Now it's time for you to square up with Scotty and you didn't want to do it. Like both of you guys are like, come on, come on, come on. Like it really gave when you be on the phone with your boo thing and then it's time to hang up and, and he'd be like, well, you hang up, but you'd be like, oh no, but you hang up, but you hang up. No, you hang up. It gave that like, it, it seemed like, and I don't blame Scotty because it's like, girl, you snuck me. So you come run up and get this work. What are you talking about? And I girl T girl T swung and then when T when T <laughs> when T realized that she was not gonna win the fight, she ran. Girl, you ran. I would have rather you stayed in the paint and just just duked it out, and you would have just it, it just would have been that. But girl, you got done up like you got done up by Scotty with the ran through like girl, you. <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't gonna call you Scotty with the ran through body today, girl. I ain't gonna do that to you. But you got done up by Scotty. It is not only that, but girl, you got tore up. Like she was, girl, she was getting you like you stole something, girl. Okay, girl, she was the mother and you was the child, girl. She was. Girl, she was. She just. I, I don't know, girl. She did it to you, girl. I, Scotty, girl. I ain't gonna lie, girl. <laughs> Good job, Scotty. Not good job because I would prefer T over you any day. But good job on standing in the paint and sticking up for yourself, girl. <laughs> girl, this is the 
Scotty. I've been waiting for a child. Girl, I ain't seen this Scotty since Batty South reunion when Rolly, when Rolly, when Rolly slapped her down, girl. And Scotty, girl, Scotty would not stop trying to run up, girl. And Scotty bopped her, girl. I ain't seen this Scotty since Batty South, child, three seasons later. But good job, Scotty, girl. I commend you, girl. You did your big one, girl. You did. You did your big one. You deserve to talk your ish. I love that for you. T, and I don't know what to say to you, T, girl. I still like you, though, but, girl, you be lying, girl, because you got, you definitely got on live, and you were saying that you was, that you, you was doing Scotty and, girl, and you say you don't care how they chop it, screw it, it is, it is, it is what it ain't, and it ain't what it is, girl, they, there's only so much that they can edit, girl, they cannot edit you running, girl, you literally ran, like, I, man, like, how do you just get in tour with somebody, Something that you started, by the way, because you're the one that sw that snuck her first. How do you get into it with somebody and literally you get <laughs> you get into it with somebody and you literally like mid fight you just decide that you don't want you don't want you don't want to do it no more. So you just <laughs> girl, I don't even know what else to say about that. Scott, Scotty, good for you. T, we'll do better next time. Natalie's really did seem hurt by um. Uh, the whole ET thing and ET too, girl. You are again with the lying. Like you really tried to make Scotty stylist catch a stray, and you really lied on that man. I feel like you lied on him. Like no shade, I really do. I feel like you were not telling the truth because why didn't you get off the van? Like when Rolly confronted him, right? Okay. Clearly, Rolly and E.T. went on a van. E.T. told Rolly who told her that Natalie was going to set her up. Rolly got off the van and she confronted the source, baby, which is Scotty Stylist. Okay, Scotty Stylist. So, Rolly is like, okay, somebody go get E.T. Because we need to, you know, we need to, we need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. You know, you said that he did this. We need to talk about it because if this is a lie, then you just... So, when Rolly was out there, it was determined that the lie, detect the lie detector test determined it was a lie. E.T. is a lie. She's a liar, okay? She didn't want to get off the bus. She was trying to... And, but Rolly knew that, yet Rolly still got on stage. <sighs> Rolly still got on stage. Rolly determined that her friend was lying before she got on stage. But Rolly got back on stage. She waddled her big back self back on stage and was still trying to play for the cameras. It's just still trying to play in everybody's face and keep up the lie, which is crazy, girl. And let's not mention how Rolly literally got caught in a lie when it came to the whole Mariah Lynn and Suki thing. Girl, you went from one thing to the next, the next thing to the next thing, girl. What one one minute it was oh you you said you was gonna sneak her you were swearing up and down that Mariah Lynn said she was gonna sneak Snoop Suki which I highly doubt she said that okay all right and then you was like oh well no you said when you said that that oh uh, you wanted to do a scene with her girl which one is it and you could tell on Suki and Sapphire's face that they knew Roly was lying it was a full circle moment last reunion it was oh i don't lie i hate when people lie in this reunion you're getting caught in your own lies girl you determined that et was a liar um outside and then you went on stage and you still kept up the lie talking about some whatever y'all tell y'all hairstylists whatever y'all tell people is gonna come back every time y'all gotta watch what y'all say and you still kept up the lie girl i'm not gonna play with you girl Girl, I am not finna play with you. And I don't like how E.T. was trying to make it seem like Roly was a lot faker than what was portrayed to us. Because it didn't give fake. It gave that she was trying to hold you accountable. And when she held you accountable, you, you threw a little hissy fit and you ran off stage and, and, and tried to get into it with security. Like, and my thing is, is girl, you are 29 years old. Why did you get, why did you go off stage like that? <laughs> Like, E.T. literally went off stage crying. Like, girl, why did you, like, why? 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 Like, what is the point in doing all that, girl? Why did you walk off stage? And, Roly, you're also low-key, but high-key. You, you hyped up that, too. Because when you got online after the reunion, you was trying to make it seem like you checked E.T. about running up on Natalie. And that's not what it gave. 
girl. You trying to make it seem like that you you was really checking her about doing that to Natalie, girl. That's not what it was, girl. That's not the energy it was, girl. Girl, come on now. And one more thing, girl. Natalie, you are not a real friend. You are very materialistic. I said this in one of my other videos, but it's really just like... You're like, uh, this whole victim thing where you're like, oh, I just need to stop being nice. I buy courtside tickets. And when I'm in Chanel, I buy the entire cast bags. Baby, that's not a friendship. Like, so when they don't take you serious, and yes, they take it, and if they do take advantage of you, don't, because there's no friendship behind it. Like, not one time did you say that you feel betrayed because, that you feel betrayed because you got to know E.T., you opened up to her. She opened up to you. You got to know her. You guys built a real bond. You guys built a real friendship. Not one time did you say any of anything along the lines of that. It was just the materialistic stuff. I spent this. I spent that. I spent that. I spent this. Girl, boo, bye. Stop it. Girl, you're so materialistic, child. And you wonder why none of them don't take you serious. Yes. Stop, stop spending tens of thousands of dollars on them. What is wrong with you? Girl, and they're not even your friends. Really, they're not. But that is all I have for y'all today. I think I covered everything. I hope I covered everything. Baby, I was talking for 39 minutes straight. I would hope that I covered everything. But if I didn't, make sure you hop in the comment section and speak on what I didn't speak on or just speak your opinion in general. Y'all know I love when y'all pop y'all ish. But that is all I have for y'all today. It's Messy Maya. Bye. Your family is better than your